Just Cause 2 Short Video Game Review. Rico Rodriguez is sent in to the Isle of Penal. Tom Sheldon may have gone rogue. They certainly, the agency lost contact with him, and if he went rogue, Rico is to kill his mentor. He certainly will be taking out the dictator of the Southeast Asian island, Baby Penal, and pretty sure that the island is supposed to be North Korea, and it's supposed to be one of the Kim Jongs. I guess Un by the time the even by the time this came out, but yeah. And it's a ton of fun. It's deeply addictive. This is basically the first game just done better. Where the first one had a lot of rough edges, they've been smoothed out, and you can do it, you know, a lot of different things in the game. The main problem, of course, is that almost all of these things are just geared towards this OTT blockbuster action kind of thing. But it is in some ways equal to Grand Theft Auto and adding this very much freer and faster movie, movement and non-linear approach to fights. But it does also lack the distinct personality of Grand Theft Auto with, you know, where that, that, game's, that game series mission design you know, characters, plot, etc. This has, you know, yeah, the, the mission design is not very varied, and the plot, whilst not repetitive and certainly at least somewhat more interesting than that of the first, is still, yeah, it's, it's pure cheese, and just, you know, every line is a one-liner, yeah, it's just it's not very compelling in in that respect. The the fun comes from the gameplay, and literally, what you do is you go from place to place. You blow stuff up. You kill some people. You escort some allies. That's about it. And this in itself would be, you know, it, it does eventually. Where thin it, you know, you won't necessarily play this to 100%. It, it took me 20 and a half hours to complete the game and if the entire story mode and the like, and I was only at 29%. And while I do intend to keep playing, I don't know for sure that I'll get to 100%. But yeah, it's all collecting and blowing stuff up outside of missions and some inside of missions as well. You will work for three factions, and whilst they don't appear to know that you're also working for the others, or maybe they just don't care, at no point do you actually work for one and against the other, unlike in Grand Theft Auto, which, again, is just is less fun and less interesting. The game has a number of cool mechanics. You have a grappling hook that you can use to travel, you know, pull yourself closer, pull someone else or something else closer, you know, tether it between two objects and drag an enemy behind a car or have him fly, dragged by a, you know, a gas canister. You know, you, you can engage a parachute and go from that to base jump and the other way around as many times as you want. You can jump between vehicles. You can throw enemies out of their vehicles and turn their own weapons against them. And as you get further in the game, the amount of enemy, you know, the the enemy, the, the military will send more hardware towards you, which, again, unlike Grand Theft Auto, in this, when you actually, I mean, by the halfway point, I faced several helicopters at the same time. I mean, I took over one of them. I still had to fight off a good three or four more before. So, yeah, each of them as well armed as myself. And my helicopter, no better arm, armored than theirs. So, yeah, and you can also, you, you sometimes get support if you're within a 
faction area of influence. And you can also drive around a faction ally who's mounting, you know, who's manning a mounted gun and he'll shoot at the military and the like. It's a fun game, but also not something that you're going to remember outside of just gameplay mechanics and just having fun, finding creative ways to destroy and, and kill. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link will be in the description box.